What's up, y'all? AJ Simmons here, founder of the Clean Biz Network. And today, I feel like I, I should get y'all a rant out here today, man, because I ain't gave y'all a good rant in a while. And today, I just want to really go in on like what it really takes to be successful and like talk about the fact that a lot of people think you got to get lucky or born into some money or something like that. But it's like, it frustrates me every time I hear somebody say that because it's like, you got people every single day, and I'm one of them, that will sit there, like you see them come from the bottom, right? I come from the same hood that a lot of people come from, right? The same city that a lot of my, I mean, peers came from, but they'll sit there and complain. Meanwhile, I'm out here getting results, but they try to act like they don't know what it is, or they'll say, oh, AJ always been like that, right? Or AJ, no, nah, he, he he always had. And it's like, no, oh, how I always have it if we're from the exact same place. You know what I mean? So that's what I want to talk about today. But first, we're going to do this intro. Headed to the top. There ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring. Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife. Got kids. Own property. Bubble eye beans. It look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans. But that was hard, though. I'm still in that black act. But she starred, though. Because that's all it takes. Oh, don't flash it. I'm on my grind. Not no more fashion show. So I made a meme and I posted a meme that said something along the lines of how can people who come from the same hood that I come from sit there and watch me quote unquote come up but then act as if dream, their dreams can't come true. Now, and then in the caption of that uh, meme I said, of course, I don't believe that I actually came up just yet. But my point is, obviously, I'm well on my way. And what makes you think that if I did it, that you can't do it? Because this, and so somebody commented up there and basically tried to say that, uh, well, when they, when you're living in a capitalistic, capitalistic society and we have affirmative action, um, then maybe you are one of the lucky ones that made it while the rest of your fellow people from your hood got left behind so basically what that comment is, is uh implying is that i'm quote unquote coming up or i'm doing better at life simply because of affirmative action as if somebody selected me to be uh, in the positions that i was able to uh put myself in in life and and let me just say this that's a complete bullshit and I'm going to tell you why. Because if you sit there and try to say that I'm lucky or anybody else from the hood that, that made it out of the hood or made it to be uh, financially successful or whatever the case may be, if you want to call those people lucky, that means you have to undermine all of the work that they put in to get to those points. You got to, that means you you just dismissing all of the research that they put in to figure out how to do what they did. Are you kidding me? Come on now. First of all, what did I do? I didn't do anything that nobody that, that's from where I'm from couldn't have done, okay? What did I do? I didn't go to college, so that's not an advantage that I had. I did go into the military, but I left, uh, I went AWOL and got out and let them discharge me with a uh, general discharge. Luckily, they didn't give me a uh, dishonorable, okay? But, so what did I really have? The only thing different that I did was I decided to uh, spend my tax refund check on buying a commercial cleaning franchise one time, okay? Only thing I decided to do different was I decided to read the entire book, the franchise, franchise uh, disclosure uh, agreement, and, and read that full fine print word for word and understand it and research stuff and Google stuff until I figured out what certain words meant that I didn't know what they meant, okay? Only thing I did different was stay out late night in buildings and clean and clean and clean until it got as clean as possible, even if it meant I might not see my kids at night or I might not be able to drink with the, with the crew or go smoke with the crew. You know what I mean? That's what I did different. Don't try to pin it on luck when you see somebody that's from exactly where you from. If you from the hood and you see somebody make it out, you need to really consider what the hell did they do different than you sit around and you go chill with people who do absolutely do absolutely nothing all day every day but then you say 
well, why I can't get my break? Why I ain't getting lucky? Because you're not applying yourself to, to get in those positions. Yes, I get lucky breaks, but the only reason that happens is because I put myself in position. I step outside my comfort zone. I go meet people that, that ain't from where I'm from. I go do things that people don't do. You know what I mean? And that's what helps me to get quote unquote lucky. Really what it is, the law of attraction is the universe conspiring to help me become closer to the things that I'm trying to become closer to. That's simply what it is. See, I spend my time thinking about being successful, starting businesses, uh, saving, building wealth. That's what I spend my time thinking about. Someone else that's from where I'm from might spend their time uh, getting girls, thinking about how I'm going to get this next girl or how I'm going to pop bottles in the club or how I'm going to look like I got more money than I really got. That's the thoughts that you might spend or how I'm going to go beat the game on 2K today. You know what I mean? That might be how you spend your thoughts. And that's what you attract in your life. See, I spend my time thinking about different shit. And therefore, I attract different shit. You know what I mean? So that's not luck. That's simply me taking action and taking control of my life. Don't try to pin the shit on luck, okay? That's the most aggravating thing I could ever hear in my life. Yes, it's there, it's de you definitely get lucky breaks on the way. But it only happens if you put yourself in a position to receive those breaks. You see what I'm saying? I got lucky when I got in that apprenticeship program to get a North Naval Shipyard. Okay? But guess how I got lucky? It's because I applied for the fucking position. You see what I'm saying? Like that, hundreds of people apply every year, but they only select a few. And saying, really, it's not even luck. If you score the highest on the test, and, they need, and, and your score matches the score, the, what they need on the, in the job, then there's a good chance that you're going to get picked over the next person. Okay? So are you lucky for getting picked? Yes, but you increase your chances of luck by scoring high on the test. How do you score high on the test? By knowing your shit. How do you know your shit? By studying. Something that everybody can do. What do you mean? There, I ain't playing the lottery. It's not no scratch offs. You see what I'm saying? I don't have a successful YouTube channel by accident. I have a successful YouTube channel because I research how can I grow my um, YouTube channel. Over and over and over again, I don't just put videos up and hope they go viral. I actually spend the time crafting behind each and every single video which tags to put in, in, in that video, okay? I actually take my time out and do these things. I research SEO. You see what I'm saying? Some people think that they, well, I try YouTube. I put a couple videos up. Ain't nobody watch. No shit. You got to put it. You got to figure out a way to get people to watch them. You have to figure out a way to generate traffic. Oh, I started a blog, but nobody coming to my channel. Did you learn how to uh, online advertise? Are you figuring out how to market online? You see what I'm saying? Oh, I started a cleaning business, but the franchise won't give me no account. Well, first of all, were you cleaning right? Did you go out and try to get your own account? So you sat around and waited for somebody else to do the job for you. Y'all got to stop bitching and stop taking the, the uh, what, what is it? The, 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 the victim mentality. Stop trying to play victim in every circumstance. Yeah, and let me tell you something, too. For the people that's from the hood like I am. And especially if you black. First of all, yes, I know that there are things in place in order to help make it harder for you. But that don't mean you're supposed to sit back and bitch about it. There's only one or two things you can do. You can A, be uh, what one might call a revolutionary or something that's going to fight against and that's how you're going to spend your time. Or you can B, do the route that I took and just say, well, fuck it. I'm going to make it any means regardless. Either way is fine, but... It's kind of hard to do both because of the distract. You really, it's, it's like law of attraction. Whatever you focus on the most. What do you want the most? You lock in on that one thing, you do it, okay? But the bottom line is this. You don't make fucking excuses. You go do do something about it. Don't sit back and say, well, you just got lucky because, see, they, the white folk like you. The white man like you. Or you got picked. Or you caught a break. See, affirmative action. They needed one more black person anyway. Man, shut your stupid, ignorant ass up. Don't say no stuff like that. Why would you say, change your thinking. Change your thinking. Because if you sit there and tell me that I'm lucky, then you telling me that all of that work I put in had nothing to do with me and my success. Oh, you mean to all of those? I don't went days without sleeping. You see what I'm saying? I went hard. I'm telling you, I went hard. I dug myself into debt to build a business. Okay? I done made some sacrifices that you would never, you couldn't do it. You couldn't walk in my shoes. And that go for a lot, any other successful person. In order to be successful in this society, in this world, Especially if you're coming from the bottom, you got to go through some shit to get there. And that's just a part of it. But what you can't do is bitch and say it was too hard and they make it that way. No, go harder then. Go harder. 
Stop being a victim. You're a grown person. You're an adult. You control your life. Take control of your actions and stop worrying about who lucky and, and oh well, the system did this, the system did that. Fuck the system, man. Just go break the system then. Do make your own system. My thing is this, I don't care, I don't having cash and money and all that, being rich and millionaire being there, I don't give a fuck about none of that. But I'm going for it anyway simply because I do care about the generations that come after me. And in order for me to help take care of the generations that come after me, I need millions on top of millions in order to help. So, because I don't want them to have to work like I did. I hate working. Okay? So I don't want my kids to have to go through that. I want them to be able to move and roam the earth the way that they were intended to. Okay? So that's why I work my ass off. You know, else I, you know why else I work my ass off? Because I too believe that there shouldn't be a homeless person when you got billionaires. I believe in that too. But guess what? I ain't got it yet. So until I get it, I got to grind, I got to grind, I got to keep my head down and focus until I get the millions and millions and millions and a billion. And then I can say, all right, fine. Now I'm creating shelters where nobody will be homeless ever again. Nobody will go home hungry again. But if you want to take make those type of changes in life, you really can't do anything unless you have influence. And the best way and the easiest way to have influence and have power and to get things done is to have money. Okay? And if you want to have money, then you got to lock in and focus and stop making excuses and stop bitching about shit and stop worrying about if you got a lucky break or not or stop worrying about if you can apply and get approved for a business loan or not because you don't need no fucking business loan if you really want it. You don't need, you don't have to do, just your efforts are going to speak for itself. I'm telling you, I don't work hand in hand with purity races, but when it comes to business, color don't mean anything. The only thing that matters in business is green. That's the only color that exists in business, especially now that the online exists. So stop making excuses. I don't care what it is. I don't care how hard it is. And that's the attitude that you got to accept. Now, if there comes a time where I'm presented with an opportunity to help fight uh, for equality and you already set it up and you want me to join the team, I got you. But I'm not about to start an initiative because I'm too fo- too busy focused on trying to build the shit up. So I don't got to ask nobody for no fucking um, for nothing. <laughs> you know, what I, mean? I don't want to. I don't want no handouts. I'll set it up. I'll create my own damn system and I'll fix it myself. Okay? That's my mindset. I encourage you to adopt the same. Because nobody's going to hand you out anything and nobody cares about you better than you can. You got to take care of you. Point blank period, okay? So I got to give y'all one of these every now and then. While I snap and I lash out for a minute. And I hope it touched somebody and hope it woke somebody else up. And I hope that the person who wrote that comment was able to hear this video because you're being ridiculous. Don't you ever tell me I'm lucky. Hard as I fucking work. You got it. You have no idea. You have no idea. And I'm guarantee you that go for any other successful person. You don't believe me. You go on any one of your favorite celebrities Instagram page right now. Look at the last photo they posted and look at all the ridiculous fucking comments that they got to deal with every day. That's just their one Instagram picture. So imagine when they live in their life and people shouting shit out at them. Imagine when they on Facebook and any other social media. Imagine when they out and about and paparazzi harass them. They see their own pictures on magazines and shit. You know I mean? They got to go through all of that turmoil, still may remain sane and still get business done. You see what I'm saying? So many other things, not to mention all the, the hurdles that they went through behind the scenes. That's just the, that's just, that's the little stuff of what other people going to think and say about you. Do you got to turn around and go against all the systems that's in place that you alluding to? That you turn around and you got to overcome those too. You see what I'm saying? So it's hard for anybody. Black, white, Chinese, Mexican, whatever, I don't care who you are. It's hard for anybody to make it from the bottom to the top. But then you turn around and you be black in America and try to go from the bottom to the top but it's even harder on top of that but you, I'm not going to sit here and bitch about it just get it done anyway okay but you going you shooting a jump shot somebody block it oh they blocked my shot I ain't shooting no more no next time you got that you pump fake that bitch and then shoot it again and this time you fake them out double pump do something hit a layup drive it next time go hard get a free throw see what I'm saying <laughs> you create your luck you create your luck. People say, oh, well, I, I can't. They ref ain't going to call, so I'm just not going to drive the ball. No, drive more. At some point, that motherfucker got to blow the whistle. And that's the same way life works. That's the same way that luck works. You keep putting yourself in a position where you can invest in a company. Somehow, the big break going to come. 
because you keep putting yourself in that position. I get opportunities thrown to me over and over and over again because I always put myself in those positions, okay? If I was just going to work every day, go to work, come home, go to work, come home, go to work, home, I'm never going to get an opportunity because I'm never putting myself in that position. You go to work, you go home, you play the game. You go to work, go home, you play the game. Get on Facebook, play the game, watch TV. You ain't going to get shit because you ain't putting yourself in a position to get shit other than the same stupid shit that you do every day. Step outside your comfort zone. I thought I was done. Now I'm done. <laughs> now I'm done. If you ain't got it after this, then you ain't going to get it. And don't get off my get off my channel, get off my Instagram, get off my Twitter, get off my Facebook, all of it, at AJ Simmons Online. That's all of my uh, social media handles, by the way. Snapchat, AJ Rich Already 16. Get away from me because I don't need your energy and you ain't got what it takes. And I don't want you holding me back from making the world a better place. Thank y'all for listening. This is AJ Simmons. Uh, check out www.ajsimmonsonline.com for anything AJ Simmons and really cleaning right now until I fit, revamp the site. I'm down here, y'all. I'd already moved <clears throat> to my new location. I, like I said, I'm going to do a video updating y'all on where I'm at, why I'm here, um, and what I'm doing. All right, so. Thank y'all for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, and comment. By the way, I think I might go live on for that one too. So if y'all would like to let me, if y'all want to hear me go live on that, then leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts also. And, and make sure you let me know your thoughts on this video too because I feel like I gave it everything. You ain't got it after this, you ain't going to get it. Thank y'all. Thank you for watching my video. And make sure you hit that like button if you liked the video because I know you did. And also hit subscribe. And right beside that subscribe button is going to be a notification bell. You got to click that because guess what? You never know when I'm going to go live. As a matter of fact, I might go live right now. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos, all right? And if you want to start or grow your business, check out cleanbiznetwork.com, all right? We have cleaning business starter kits. We have a lead generation service to help you grow your cleaning business, all type of stuff. And also, don't forget to download the Calculated Clean mobile app as well, all right? So... That's what I got for y'all until you click another video and go watch, man. Watch another video. Why not? Binge on it. Let's go.